Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I'm back. I'm sorry that I was gone for like three months. I got really overwhelmed when we were like moving into the new house and then I started writing out everything for my 28 day guided meal plan that's coming out soon. And then I started yoga teacher training and life just got really far like away from me and I'm back and hello. How are you? I feel like it's crazy because not being on here for so long, it felt like a part of me had like died. And that sounds really dramatic, but I mean, I've been on YouTube sharing with you guys every week for like eight years. So not being on here and not posting consistently and like having the community that we've built together and just like being able to chat with you guys. Like obviously there's Instagram and I just got on TikTok if you guys want to follow me on there. But it's just not the same, you know? Like, this is where I started my whole journey, and I just feel like I missed you guys. Like, truly, truly, I did. And I felt like a little bit just like lost without making YouTube videos. But I'm back. I'm gonna be consistent this time. I know I said that in my last video but i plan on doing at least a video a week for you guys i don't want to like overwhelm myself too much because we are going to be starting um filming for my if i say 28 days it's actually a 21 day guided meal plan so i'm just planning on doing um i'm just going to film what i eat for you guys basically every week and just put that into like maximum weight loss videos or what I eat in a day is, or just like little vloggy kind of things. I am going to do a house tour for you guys, but we are just finishing up a couple things. Like some things are just like our bathroom is not finished and just some things we're just kind of finishing up. So I want it to be like done before I do that because we're gonna make like a really nice house tour video for you guys. And I can do a kitchen tour video in like my next video or next video. I'm gonna make some celery juice. I usually make green juice in the morning. I've gotten into this like habit. I actually really like the taste of it. And then I think for breakfast, I might just have some mangoes because I have a bunch of these like mangoes that are ripe. So I might just eat these and I'll show you guys all that. ignore my nails for the this whole video and probably the next couple videos because I got gel put on them and they like it ruined my nails so much and I can't get this stuff off I know you can like soak it off and whatever but I just don't want to ruin my nails anymore so this is what they look like all right guys change of plans I was just gonna have some mango for breakfast, but there's this single serving apple crisp that I've been making because it's fall time and I actually just went apple picking and I got about 40 pounds of apples. And this is just a recipe I've been wanting to make and put on my blog. So I'm gonna make that for breakfast instead and I'll show you guys how I make it. It's really easy, it's super delicious. I love it, you can actually make it in the oven or you can make it in just your air fryer. I might try to do the air fryer today, but I might just stick to the oven because I want the recipe to be consistent. So we're gonna make that and let's do that. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is just chop up two apples. I'm actually doubling this recipe because I think in the photo it will look better with two you know, ramekins in one. So for the single serving version, just go to the link down below. I'll put the link to um, the recipe on my website down below. You're just gonna wanna core and chop these. And I like to chop them really finely because then they cook a bit faster. So I chop them into like little chunks about this size. And we're actually just gonna put these into a big bowl. Okay, and then once we have all of the apples chopped up, I'm gonna add in a little bit of cinnamon. So the original recipe just has cinnamon, but I'm also gonna add in some pumpkin spice just to give it some extra fall flavor. 
So you're, the rest, if you go by the recipe, you're supposed to add in a half teaspoon of cinnamon, but I just kind of eyeball it. And then I'm just gonna add in a bit of this pumpkin spice. I like the same amount. I like a lot of cinnamon and flavor. <laughs> then we're gonna add into here a tablespoon of brown sugar. Well, actually two tablespoons because I'm doubling the recipe. And then we're also gonna add in a tablespoon. Well, actually I'm doing this like totally wrong here. So you're gonna want another little bowl to measure out your oats and your oat flour. So for each recipe, you need a quarter cup of oat flour and a quarter cup of oats. So I'm gonna do double. All right, we can just mix this together. And then once you have this mixed together, you're just gonna wanna add a little bit of this, about two tablespoons. So one tablespoon if you're doing a single serving into this and mix it together. It's just gonna help, it's just gonna like kind of bind it all together when it cooks. I'm also going to add in a quarter teaspoon of salt to this mixture and then I'm going to add two tablespoons of brown sugar into here as well. I really should have used a bigger bowl, but I didn't. Okay, so once that's all mixed up, you want to add in some soy milk. I'm going to do two tablespoons because I doubled the recipe. And this is kind of kind of be like our crust. So you're just gonna wanna mix this up till all of the dry flour is mixed in well. So you wanna put your mix into the bottom of the ramekin and just spread it out. And it's gonna basically be our crust for this. And then we can just add our apples on top. I just like to add a little bit extra oats on top if you aren't trying to lose weight, you can use like chopped almonds or pecans or something like that and it's really delicious, but I'm trying to do meals for maximum weight loss here for you guys, so we are just gonna do some oats. And then we're just gonna put this in the oven on the middle rack for about 30 minutes. All right, the apple crisp is done. Looks so good. I just need to take some pictures and then I'll show you guys what it looks like on the inside. All right, so you can see inside of this deliciousness, there's like a crust on the bottom. So good. We can have the official taste tester test it out. Very sophisticated rating system too. It's kind of hot. Damn good for apple crisp. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, Obviously, it'd be better. It'd be really good. You could put some banana ice cream on top. Great for weight loss. Oh yeah. If you're not trying to lose weight, you know, like Derek, and just do plain ice cream. But we got we got a good rating here, guys. Actually forgot the finishing touch. So at the very end, you can just drizzle like a little bit of maple syrup on top. So much better. But I figured I'd give you guys a little fridge tour. I did just go grocery shopping. Well, I actually went to an apple orchard and they had like a bunch of squashes and like salsas and stuff like that. So I'll show you guys kind of what I got for the week. Um, I'm gonna be making some other recipes and another what I eat in a day video for you guys. Or like, these will just be like what I eat in a day slash maximum weight loss meals because that is the thing that I get asked for the absolute most is people just want recipes that they can eat while they're trying to lose weight. So that's what we'll do. But I'll give you guys a little fridge tour. Here is our fridge. My camera's about to die. And this door will not stay open. So up here I have a fresh pineapple. I've got some carrots two different kinds of kale. I got the lacinato kale and then the curly kale. We got some grapefruits, some strawberries. Um, here we just got like better than bouillon. I got some tofu back there, miso, earth balance, which Derek uses on like toast and stuff. Got some tomatoes. These are my favorite beets ever. If you guys love like beets, I don't know. These are, they're like cooked, but they have this vinegar flavor. They're so good on salads. I'm definitely gonna make a salad with that. 
this week. And then I have some more tomatoes from my neighbor's garden. We got some spring mix that I really need to use up. I think it actually expires today. These are some little date um, almond flour kind of cookies I made for Derek. So I'll put those up there. I got some dates. These are fresh dates. Um, figs, cranberries. We got some kombucha, bell pepper, some almond butter that I needed to buy for a recipe, which I bought that and then I realized that I have almond butter right there. Um, some pre-cooked potatoes that I just cooked this morning for my lunch and a cucumber. I got some apple juice. I got a bunch of bell peppers, different kinds. These are banana peppers below here. I actually started putting um, towels in my drawers and it helps a lot to just keep them cleaner. So that's a little hack for you guys. I just fold them up and put them in the bottom. And more bell peppers. I got a poblano pepper because we're gonna make roasted corn chili for dinner tonight. So I'll show you guys that. This is, this is actually a yellow bell pepper. It looks kind of funny and some mushrooms and then parsley in there. This is my little fruit drawer. So I've got lemons, ginger, turmeric, apples, all that kind of stuff. This is Derek's kind of junky little drawer. So there's some tofurkey, mozzarella style slices, cheddar, and this is diet cheese. And then over here, I have my favorite marinara sauce. This is the one that I always use. It's oil-free. It's basically just tomatoes, vegetables, and that's it. But I really like it on like little pita pizzas and stuff. This is like a CBD drink. Um, we got some pickles, coconut milk. I like to buy this coconut milk because it lasts forever for some reason. And I just, it's only coconut milk and water. So that's what I buy. I also have some of this milk stuff. This is like the rarely used stuff down here. Um, got some chili paste, olives, jalapenos, sushi ginger, which is an absolute must for me. Thai curry paste, gochujang, kimchi. This is like a harissa sauce, jam, Derek's veganaise. I don't touch that stuff. Pepperoncini, tomato paste. And then over here, I just got some sweet chili sauce, buffalo sauce. Um, another buffalo sauce. This is my favorite barbecue sauce ever. And then this somebody brought over and <laughs> I, I'm never gonna use it. It's like pretty much just oil. Um, but it's just a salad dressing. And then some mustard, ketchup. I bought this stuff and I don't really like it. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with that, but it's like truffle hot sauce. And then this is like just my flax seed, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, and coconut. So that's my little fridge tour. Um, I'll do a pantry tour in another video. My pantry is like gigantic. And it's funny because when we moved into this house, I was like, I'm never gonna fill this thing up. I was like, I'm never gonna fill up any of these cabinets or anything and everything is like totally full. I was just doing a bunch of work in my office and now I'm gonna make lunch. I'll show you what I got. I'm gonna make just like a potato or a, yes, potato veggie skillet kind of thing on the stove. And I'm just gonna use up some stuff that I have left over. I always do this. I leave every cabinet open and Derek drives him crazy. <laughs> so I've just got this pre-steamed potato. This potato is huge. It's like, I don't know, half a pound or more. And this sad onion. And then I'm gonna use some bell pepper, green bell pepper. This is actually a mild green chili. And then I'm gonna chop up some of this banana pepper and just use a ton of mushrooms. And I'm just gonna make kind of like a little veggie skillet out of it. I don't know, it's like one of my favorite things to make.
dinner tonight, I'm going to make burrito bowls with black beans and I'm going to make a roasted corn salsa. It's kind of like the one at Chipotle. I made this on my Instagram, but I haven't made it on my YouTube channel yet. It's actually a recipe on my website, so I'll link it below for you guys. Really easy to make. All right, so for this roasted corn salsa, we are going to need a pound of roasted corn. So I just have this one from Whole Foods and I just let it sit out and defrost while everything's kind of being put together. We got our poblano pepper, um, two jalapenos, which I don't have, but these are like, um, they're really hot chilies. I can't remember what they're called. We got a red onion, juice from two limes, garlic salt, and, and then I just need to go grab some cilantro from my garden, so I'll do that while the pepper is cooking, but we're just gonna throw this pepper into the air fryer on 400 for 20 minutes. So we'll do that really quick. You can just throw the whole thing in there. This is the Kasori air fryer. I highly recommend it. It is like the best one on the market. I've had them all. All right, so this pepper is done. And you want it to be like really charred like that. Now we're just gonna put it into a baggie and zip it up and it will just make it so that it's really easy to peel the skin off. So we'll just wait until this cools. So I'm just gonna finally mince up these onions and then chop up these peppers really quick. If you roll your cilantro up into like a ball like this, you can really finely mince it really quickly. Okay, so I have everything in this bowl. I'm just going to juice my limes and add them in there. And then I'm just gonna add in about a teaspoon of garlic salt. Okay, so this has been cooling in here for a while. You can take it out. You'll see that you can pretty easily just peel the skin off of this. So you wanna peel the skin off and then you wanna get rid of all these seeds, which I'm just gonna rinse this under the sink. It's like the easiest way. And just chop it into chunks. Which I like them to be kind of small. But you'll notice that when you roast this thing, it makes your house smell like amazing. It just adds so much flavor to the salsa. And then we can just add in our corn, which mine is still frozen. But I'm just going to let it sit out to defrost while I cook my rice and rinse all my beans and do all that stuff. That is it. And then you have this beautiful roasted corn poblano salsa. This stuff is so good. I could eat it by itself. Like I could eat this entire dish just as a meal, but <laughs> it's obviously better on other things, so. For today's video I hope you guys enjoyed this um, let me know anything you would like to see down in the description box or the comments <laughs> and I will leave all of the links for you guys for everything down in the description box for you and I will see you next week